So I got up this morning and uh, the first thing I did this morning at 5.30, I did sleep till 5.30, which was good. The first thing I did was I weighed. It'd been a week since I'd weighed, over a week actually. And I wasn't happy with the results of my weigh-in. I just don't, you know. I was actually over two pounds heavier. I was actually over two pounds heavier than I was a week ago. But I know this, I know this. I know, <clears throat> I know that I didn't gain two pounds of fat in a week. No way, no way, not the way I eat. Not, not eating absolute carnivore, no way. So I just, I just, uh, I just uh, mark it up as a fluid fluctuation in my body. That for whatever reason today, uh, my fluid content was higher. And uh, maybe, maybe I built up some muscle tone since last week and muscle weighs more than fat so so I'm not discouraged I, I, I'm not I'm in it for the long haul hey it's, you know it's actually been it's actually been uh, almost one year since I first started the carnivore diet and I may be I may be eight, ten pounds lighter than I was a year ago. Maybe. I don't even remember I don't even remember what I weighed. And uh the disheartening thing and the and the, <clears throat> and the things that I'm disappointed in about my journey over the last year is number one, I was real faithful. I started in September and until about April I didn't I didn't cheat, not one morsel, not one morsel. Then I had some blood work done and uh, my, kid, my kidney numbers were, were not great. So I told my doctor that I'd been on carnivore and I do understand that eat carnivore diet does affect some kidney numbers. So she asked me, she says, well eat normal for a couple of weeks, which I should have said no. I should have said, no, not going to do it. Uh, I didn't know, really know what normal was to me to me before the carnivore diet. And, uh, you know, normal was, I, I still ate pretty healthy. I, I just did occasionally have, I did occasionally have a donut or an ice cream cone or <clears throat> something like that. But I haven't eaten a lot of starches in years. And um, so anyway... I got off for a couple of weeks to eat normal, and that turned into about three months. And I'm really disappointed that I that I I um, I, I, I stopped. I wished I hadn't. I won't again. I, I won't do that again. I won't do that again because if I don't lose, if I don't lose another pound ever, if I weigh two hundred and 69 pounds for the rest of my life if I'm healthier in other ways. If my, if my emotions are healthier, if my, men, if my mental state is healthier, if I've got more energy, if I feel better, if I'm stronger at 64 years old, that's important to me. So, there. And I'm on my second cup of coffee. And yes, just in case you've been you follow me when I'm walking. I did walk this morning, and two things were different. Uh, number one, I did not take Gus, the, the Labrador Retriever. Oh, by, by the way, I bought this Krispy Kreme cup because I had, the day before this, this was several years ago, the day before this, I had had two Krispy Kreme donuts and they left me feeling so bad that the next day I went to uh, Krispy Kreme and I said, I'm gonna go buy a 
coffee cup. Anyway, I bought the Krispy Kreme coffee mug as a trophy to signify my last Krispy Kreme donuts. So now, when I go to Krispy Kreme, and I do, I, I have friends, we ride motorcycles together, they, we, we will occasionally wind up uh, near a Krispy Kreme after maybe riding to a restaurant or something, and hey, let's go get a donut. So, hey, I smile, so let's go. And when I go, I, I get coffee or a bottle of water. And that's it. So anyway, I didn't take Gus this morning. He was not happy because the other di difference today was I did take Felicia with me. She did go. She went with me uh, Monday. Yesterday she took the day off. She went with me today. We didn't take Gus. He didn't like it. We left him in the house. We could hear him way down the street. We could still hear him barking going, you know, come back, come back and get me. But I just decided I needed to go for a walk without having to manage Gus. And it was an easier, it was so much easier. Now I'll take him again, but it was so much easier. But Felicia went with me and uh, we, we, we pulled out of here. We left the house at about six. It might've been a couple of minutes after. And uh, we did two miles. We, we, and we got back about 640, 42, 642, something like that. So we're not walking a, a really fast pace, um, but we're walking. And that's a win for us. It's a win for me that I'm outside, that I'm out there at six o'clock in the morning walking. That is a win, big W win. And uh, so, and the fact that Felicia's out there because she's, she's been dealing, she's dealt with the same fatigue and things that I have. And she typically, she typically sleeps until at least seven. Then she, uh, she's not ready to get out and go, go into the world. She does her Bible reading and she listens to podcasts laying in the bed or, or she goes to her office and does it. And, uh, She's just not a morning person typically, but, but Monday morning and this morning, she was up ready to go. And I didn't say anything. I didn't, I didn't draw attention to it, to her, but I saw that as a big win that, that she, uh, could even imagine getting out and going walking at six o'clock in the morning. So as I drink my second cup of coffee, that's it. That's it. Just want to say this, I'm not discouraged. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep eating right. Oh, I will say this, I will say this. Over the last week, well, I should have said this earlier. But anyway, over the last week, I did, I did have two cappuccinos with Splenda and heavy cream. I don't think, I really don't believe that those would, would reverse my results on the carnivore. It may slow down my results. And I do, I have eaten over the last week some cheese. So starting today for one month, I'm not going to have any dairy whatsoever. I well, let me back up and say this. Other than real butter. No cheese, no milk, no cream, no nothing. And for the next month, I will not use a Splenda packet. That's the only thing I can do to tighten up what I'm doing. So, we shall see. Hey, this is Wednesday, September the 4th. Have a good day.